Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a long-term review on the GBLS task platform, specifically the GDR15. Um, I've been using this gun as my primary gun for the last two years and I'm still very happy with the performance uh, and experience. Uh, the DAS system is a, a relatively recent platform or a recent system, so it's normal that it has its kinks. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to try to talk about the issues that uh, I had and the solutions that I found. Um, with that out of the way, don't forget to check out uh, Combat Systems, uh, Gators Eyewear and Contractor House uh, and use our promo code BISHTA10 on Contractor House's website to get 10% off their website. Um, so we're going to start with the first issue, uh, which was on the bolt, right here. So this is the, the bolt of the gun. Um, and this is where you have your spring, your spring guide, your nozzle, and right here on the back, I don't know if you can see it, I'm going to show you in the close-ups anyway, um, you have a, a part, uh, this piece, which holds in place your spring and spring guide. You have these two screws right here, so two screws. Um, and what happens is the amount of material between the ends of this part and the screws is very thin. So with the action of the bolt traveling back and forward and the buffer uh, hitting this, uh, though that material was, is going to get thinner and thinner. So I have here the original parts uh, and I already can see some cracks between the ends and the uh, screw. So this is quite dangerous because if the spring comes out when you're playing, uh, it's going to be a catastrophic failure and you're going to have your spring inside the gun, it's going to be uh, very hard to take out the bolt. So uh, it, I was lucky enough to found uh, this issue before it became a major problem. So basically what I did, uh, I have a teammate which is B06, a shout out to him. He has access to CNC machines and I asked him to make me a the same part but in a stronger metal alloy so I think this is made out of aluminum which is not really that strong uh, and he made the same part I think out of chromium nickel uh, I think that is the way you say it so whatever in a strong uh, metal and that issue was completely fixed for me uh, after running uh, the gun for the last two years it's still it is still uh, maintaining the, the same thickness as before, so um, that is the solution. Just get a replacement part if you can. I don't know if GBLS sells this part separately, uh, but it is the solution uh, for this problem. This might happen because you know, you're know you using um, the Type B uh, buffer or you're using an aftermarket buffer that you, that you should be using. I have seen some guys doing crazy stuff uh, like using uh, real steel bu uh, buffer springs on their GDR15s, using uh, buffers for uh, gas blowback guns. So that is not really recommended if for in terms of longevity of the gun. So keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> the other issue, or it's not really an issue, it's an easy fix, is that the screws uh, with the action uh, of the uh, bolt um, will start to unscrew themselves. So basically you just use some Loctite. Uh, I usually use the blue one so that these screws stay in place and that fixes that problem also. Um, the other issue on the bolt that I had uh, was uh, all of a sudden I noticed that my gun had a major decrease in terms of FPS's uh, around you know 70 FPS's and upon inspecting the bolt, I found that the nozzle was loose. So basically I just bought the proprietary key, which is this right here. Uh, this is specifically for the nozzle. Uh, it costs around 15 euros, I think. Uh, I do recommend that you get this uh, tool instead of using, you know, pliers or something like that. Um, and I just, screw the uh, nozzle again and you and if you have the need you also have a o-ring and if you need to replace it do it it is a really small o-ring so it is not going to be easy to find but if you can replace it 
Um, of course, one of the things that we recommend is that you lube and clean the bolts. Um, we usually do it after each game and training session so that everything runs nice and smoothly. Uh, and those were the only issues. I did I did heard that there are there is another issue. It didn't happen to me yet, but I'm starting to see it happening is the fact that uh, the bolt uh, the the place where the bolt catch um, grabs the bolt, which is right here, uh, is also uh, is also getting some wear and tear. So basically with time with what happens is when the magazine uh, goes, uh, when you run out of BBs, uh, the bolt will not uh, will not uh, be uh, to the rear. So the bolt catch will not catch the bolt. Uh, so that is something that may happen if you use a lot the GBLS DAS platform. And the the only solution for that is to buy a new bolt, which is expensive. So you can expect around 350 euros, I think, for the bolt. The normal bolt, if you get the steel one, is more expensive. Um, but you know, these are the issues that I found with the bolt. Uh, other issues, so right here on the upper, uh, there is a part called the U-clip or the C-clip, uh, which is this right here. I'm going to try to show you. I don't know if you can see it. So um, the U-clip or C-clip is what keeps in place your inner barrel. So this uh, attaches to the uh, hop-up chamber and with time, uh, of course, once again, by the natural uh, movement of the bolt and all of the moving parts, uh, the U-clip will start to get some cracks. And that is not good because uh, if the U-clip is not 100%, the inner barrel will start to move and you'll start to get problems in terms of groupings and consistency and that is not good. So you will not get a good performance uh, out of the gun. Uh, so once again, the solution uh, that I uh, came up with is once again asking my, my teammate P06 to make uh, the U-clip in a much stronger material and that fixed the issue for me. Um, it was just replacing it and it was good to go. Uh, other thing that also uh, might come up if you try to change the inner barrel, uh, just we're going to give you a warning that the barrel nut is going to be really, really tight. So you're going to have to apply a lot of force. So we recommend that you get, you know, uh, a key, a wrench, um, and you know, just to give you that warning because it's going to be really, really tight. Um, and you know, uh, if you want to change that inner barrel or the hop-up bucking, you're going to have to get through the, um, through the barrel nut. Um, other issue, uh, also here on the hop-up, uh, on the hop-up chamber system, uh, it's not really an issue. It's not going to be something that will influence your shots, but it's the fact that, um, this part here, uh, it is basically what moves the hop-up arm. Uh, so this travels back and forward and it has a little metal piece that it, that broke, uh, but the hop-up still worked. So it is not a, a, a big issue. Basically, I just uh, asked GBLS UK to send me a new part um, because the gun was still under warranty, of course, and they did. So no problems there whatsoever. Um, they replaced this part for me. But if you do get this problem, it's not going to be a big, big issue. Um, other thing that might happen with the uh, regarding the magazines is the fact that when you're doing reloads and if the magazine is full, uh, so maximum capacity, uh, and of course with time, the uh, feeding lips will start to, you know, also have wear and tear because the reloading system is not the best. You have to use that adapter and then with the speed loader, put your BBs in there. Uh, and what happens is when you, uh, if you're doing a quick mag change, aggressive, and you put the magazine um, hard into the magazine well, a BB might come loose and then 
uh, it's going to be loose on the uh, inside the, the chamber, so to speak. And when you put the bolt to the front, uh, it will uh, smash the BB against the uh, hop-up chamber. Uh, you're going to have bits of BBs uh, on the gearbox, on the chamber, and then you have to disassemble everything, um, take out, scrape the, the smashed BB from the uh, hop-up chamber, uh, and try to get the chips uh, of BBs from the, the lower so it doesn't get inside the gearbox. So that is also an issue uh, that happened to me, but basically what I did, I just ordered uh, feeding lips uh, or magazine lips, whatever you want to call it, for all of my mags and that issue uh, disappeared. So just be in mind, just have in mind that that may happen also. Um, another thing that we want to say is that don't mess with the motor height, uh, because if you have the motor not in the correct position, uh, because I did try to change the grip, uh, but then I was blowing up fuses, uh, because the motor was not on the correct height. Um, so make sure that, uh, you know, the height, the correct height of the motor. Basically, I just replaced the PTS grip for another PTS um, and I used the same uh, end plate uh, so to get uh, the correct height. Uh, so don't mess, don't mess with the height of the motor. Um, another issue that I had was with the gearbox and this was an issue that I had to uh, send my GBLS to uh, my GBLS task platform to GBLS UK because I am in Europe and GBLS UK is the representative right here uh, on the continent. Um, and basically they explained to me that I had a crooked axle, uh, a gear axle because the bushing uh, had a defect or the bushing got screwed, I don't know. But basically uh, the gears wouldn't turn because of that gear axle being uh, crooked. Uh, they, I, I talked with them, they arranged a pickup, but the gun was under warranty, but it was all very fast. I was, you know, between sending the gun and having it back, it was about three weeks. So, uh, my experience with customer support has been great, but this was of course, uh, before Brexit. I don't know how it is working right now in Europe, uh, because you know, there is a lot of issues because of customs and, you know, sending guns and receiving guns. So I don't know how well it is working now, but my personal experience was very, very positive. But, you know, right now, I don't know uh, where you're going to fix your gun if you have a, a really serious problem. Um, a raging, uh, having inner parts are also a bit hard to find. There are some stores in Europe, but more specific stuff is going to be a bit hard. Uh, we hope that GBLS fixes this problem in the future. I don't know how the customer support is on the United States with GBLS USA and on Asia with GBLS Korea. Uh, but we hope that GBLS fixes this problem in Europe and they have some type of representative uh, outside of UK because of, of Brexit. Um, and one thing that I want to talk about also is regarding upgrades. Uh, right now, and it is the setup that I'm liking the most, uh, because I did try uh, different inner barrels, different hop-up buckings, and the, the ones that I'm getting good performance out of is the Lambda 6.05 inner barrel uh, and the Maple Leaf Mr. Hop-up bucking. Uh, the black one, of course, because GBLS, uh, the, the DAS platform needs hard buckings. Um, uh, so it, regarding upgrades, that is what I'm using right now. Of course, I'm also, I'm also using the Type 2 Hop-Up Arm and the Maple Leaf Omega Nub. Um, of course, regarding also Hop-Up buckings, uh, make sure to replace um, the bucking from time to time because you know the bolt is quite aggressive um, on the uh, hop-up chamber and the uh, hop-up bucking will start also to get some wear and tear so we recommend that you you know from time to time uh, depending on the amount of uh, times you play with the 
uh, DAS platform, you replace the hop-up bucking to get, uh, you know, uh, more consistency uh, in greater groupings. Uh, and at the moment, I am using 0.36 gram BBs uh, with the hop-up almost at the lowest setting. Um, if if I wanted, I could use 0 .4, uh, 0 0.4 gram BBs if I want to. Um, but I'm going to maintain um, the point, uh, 0 0.36 grams, uh, gram BBs. Um, and basically, these are the issues that I had with the gun uh, and my solutions. Um, I know that some guys had problems with electronics, guys had some problems with the motor. That didn't happen to me. Uh, but one, one thing is for sure is that keeping the gun nice and maintained, uh, lubed, uh, clean, uh, that is going to you know, prevent most of the issues that a lot of people are getting. And of course, you should do some maintenance on the gearbox. If you have a guy, a good tech that knows how to uh, disassemble uh, and clean and relube everything, uh, that is great. Don't try it yourself. You don't know how to do it because it is a quite complex uh, gearbox. Um, but uh, regarding uh, those issues that I had, once again, really happy with the platform. Uh, it is by, it's been my primary gun, so it has a lot of uh, abuse. If you are a GBLS DAS user, hope this video video helps you uh, fixing those problems. Uh, or if you're a player that wants to buy a GBLS uh, DAS uh, platform, um, these are the issues that may come up with uh, with the use uh, of this gun. Um, and basically that is, that is it. If you have any questions, comments, if you have, if you had other issues, just put on the comments below. Um, don't forget to check out our websites, check out our sponsors, Combat Systems, Gators Eyewear, Contractor House, um, and of course check out other videos on the channel, our social media, uh, websites, uh, and that is it. So thank you so much for watching. This was a more technical video instead of an action video, uh, which is important also. Um, and see you next time. Thank you so much.